previously on Balls. Uh, look who's wandered in this, uh, this afternoon, straight off the golf course, is Greer Stevens. Nice to chat to you again. Good to be back and chatting to you. Yeah, it's always better when there's not a breaky up Skype uh, signal that we're having to deal with. Although yours was probably quite good though. Yeah, no, thanks to my husband and his... Um, his Apple prowess. Yeah, definitely Apple yeah. all the way. Where were you playing golf today? Uh, Royal Johannesburg, which is nice. my club. Okay. And great bunch of girls there and... We were, had an amazing day on the golf course. It wasn't too cold for once. What, East or West? Sorry, Darren. Oh, it was the easy one today. The West? It was West, yeah. I don't know how much easier that one is. And what, social day today? or? Yeah, it's a ladies' um, social, so it okay. was a four-ball, um, no, three-ball alliance today. So. All right, cool. How many yeah. to count? One on everything and three on the threes. Oh. So All it right. was a tough one. And what is that? I think you told us your handicap now. Well, it's um, due to the wrist injury, it's gone out to eight, but that's cool. Now I get a few more shots. There we go. <laughs> it's gone out to eight. So what were you before? Uh, five, six. Wow. wow. Hey. Yeah. There you went from tennis to, uh, as, as we were chatting, I think, last time, uh, with, uh, what is her name again? Pat Pretorius also went from tennis to golf, and uh, and you've done the same thing now. Yeah, I only started about five and a half years ago. Really? Yeah, when we moved back to Joburg, I started playing golf. What is it about tennis players that uh, suddenly they can just pick up a golf club and play golf? Yeah, I don't know. You just kind of, uh, that little thing sits there and you just want to drill it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, all about, it's all about timing, eh? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and uh, I suppose you've got it in tennis, you can have it in golf as well. Um, you, you, you were mentioning just about your wrist injury as well, and you said it's a tennis one. Is that going back to your pro career? Or? Yeah, when I was 16. Seriously? I, yeah, I, I hit a forehand, um, which I used to hit rather hard. Yeah. And I broke the growth plate off. And the um, ulnar grew all deformed wow and then later on in life it decided to talk to me and we've shortened the ulna and it's been a whole long story but three hours later i'm now getting it's much better now thanks mm. to physio and all that so okay hopefully i can hit a tennis ball soon i haven't hit a tennis ball for the last 10 months uh, so but you still you still do play just socially obviously no coach Oh, coaching. Don't okay. ever expect me to be socially because it's too frustrating. Do they have a master's uh, or, or what they wouldn't call it a master's, a, a senior's tour for tennis like they do with the men? Uh, there's the veterans, but um, there is the also the um, at the slams. You okay. get the, as my youngest co son called us, the wrinklies. <laughs> <laughs> and when last did you play one of those? Uh, 2005. Okay, so it wasn't too long yeah, ago. Yeah, no, then. I didn't play for 18 years. Yeah. Then Kev Kevin Curran. Was an 18 year gap yeah. since you stopped. Yeah. Wow. And well, then Kevin uh, we brought you back. what it is now. Okay. okay. Um, but uh, Kevin said, come on, get off your whatever and, and come uh, get you an invite back to Wimbledon. And then I played Wimbledon US Open and Aussies and the. Mixed. No, the Wimbledon is doubles. Okay. And uh, Johan Crick, when we were two games from winning the US Open Masters. But it had to be mixed doubles. That was, that was the, yeah, Wimbledon is doubles. Okay. Um, Aussie was doubles and mixed doubles, depending on which year you were there. Mm. And then I did the cruciate in on my good knee. So okay. So I've had some fun with how far, how far did you go in those events? Oh, that was the finals. We were two oh, games from winning. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Wow, almost another Wimbledon. Uh, well, a Wimbledon, because you won a few Wimbledon titles, didn't and you? And US. Yeah, yeah and US. Yeah. Almost so. another one 18 years after the fact. That's, uh, that's more something. like 21. But yeah. <laughs> what kind of money is it? What kind of money do they uh, hand out for those, those events? It covers your costs. And really? Yeah, yeah so it's it not, covers it's not your costs and maybe a little bit to go out to theatre or something like oh, that. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's not, uh, you don't get a couple of hundred thousand pounds for winning the, uh, the, the seniors' Wimbledon title. No, they kind of put us on the backcourt. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose you've had your time. Let the others have their little place oh, in the sun. Oh, I tell you what, people come around. Uh, the first time I went back, I, the whole family went back to Wimbledon. Mm. And when I was asked for an autograph, my kids came up to me and said, Mom, you're not going to sign that, are you? You can't <laughs> sign autographs. How old was the person asking for the autograph? Uh, a little bit younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> younger than me. <laughs> and how many, how many of the, uh, the, the sort of legends from that time, the people from your era, do you still stay in touch with? Most of them. Really? Um, you know, Facebook is an amazing yeah, that's true. format yeah. now. But at Wimbledon and US Open and that and Australia, I'm a member of the Last Eight Club. Okay. Which, and all the old fogies go there. And so you've got your Fred Stollies, you've got Virginia Wade, who was my doubles partner. 
and you all kind of meet up then it's a great blast um mm. and that's what the joy of going back to the tournaments is tennis is secondary is catching up the with friendships your old friends, that you yeah. made mm. yeah who was your favorite player in your from your era um person who possibly i respected most and it did most for me personally was roy emerson roy emerson he was amazing he took me underneath his wing he taught me more about tennis than anybody has ever did you know he, the way to handle yourself on court mm. he wouldn't let you play you know query a ball he said get on with it and just the stability he was always so calm mm. and he was amazing to me what's happened to people like on the names is popping into my head they would have played around your time andrea jager Andrea, I'm on Facebook with Andrea. Oh, really? Yes. Because um, she sort of came and went very quickly, eh? She had a bit of a breakdown. Yeah. Um, and now, if I remember correctly, she is actually a nun now. She's a nun? I think so. I, I stand corrected, but uh, just somewhere, and I, you know, on Facebook, I don't even think of that. But Are nuns allowed to go on Facebook? I'm not, I don't know, but I mean, are they? I'll check up and let you know. <laughs> well, you follow on Facebook, so there yeah. must be then, there if, must if be. she is a I'm nun. I'm not sure if she went into some kind of uh, religious following, following okay. or something like that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And the other one is Tracy Austin. Tracy's doing commentary at the US Open. Oh, is she there? And okay. played against her, and yeah, so we, we catch up. At, mm. But... Yeah, I've done so much traveling now. To get over to the States is just a mission. Yeah. I'd rather travel in Africa. I much prefer Africa. Exactly, yeah. I was, uh, I was in the bush this weekend. Wow. First time in nearly a year. It was so nice just to get out and get into the into the bush again. Uh, and, I mean, who are the people from your era that, that sort of went and, and are doing some really strange things now, something you'd never expect them to be doing? Um, who? Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's one of them that landed up in jail. What? Hey? Yeah. Let's see if we can Wimble guess. Hold on. Wimbledon title holder, man. Man. A man. A Wimbledon title holder. It's not Pat Cash because no, uh, no, they're no. all Australians. No, no. no, no. This is an American. What era? My era. Come on. So <laughs> early thirties. <30s>. Hey. There goes. There goes. There goes. There goes. Grabbing your golf partner when you play. Uh, so from your era, that would have been so the late seventies. Uh, Wimbledon late winner, mid mid winner. Mid seventies had the fastest serve at the time. Oh, um, oh, geez. A winner, a Wimbledon, a winner. Wimbledon a winner. winner, an unexpected winner. Yeah, and um, not, not the one I that beat Kevin. Story. No, not no, 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 no. It was before Kevin's time. Don't tell us. This is something okay. we can try and ponder. Okay, on. and I'll tell you another story while you're pondering. Um, Tom Gorman, who was used to play in those days, American, and eventually yeah. uh, captain the Davis Cup team. We were at Hurlingham, where we go the the uh, garden party before Wimbledon. Oh, that's what and Simon calls his local pub every other <laughs> night. <laughs> Hurlingham. And Tom <laughs> bet this player that I was, I think, 16 at the, in my first Wimbledon or something like that. That he said, "This chick will return your serve." And there's no way. So there was a hundred pounds put on the bat. Okay. And I returned the serve. I'm trying to remember. Oh. I'm trying to think who, because I mean that era was dominated by Connors, McEnroe, and Borg. It's not the before, Dutch guy. Uh, before, before, before that. Was it Stan Smith? No. No. Oh, Stan. No, definitely not In Sergeant Stan. No. Did he never won a single title? There, did he? Yes, he did. Did he? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now going back a little bit before John my time. John Newcomb. No, no, Nuke is no, no. You mentioned Yannick. I aced him on a second serve on court Did number you? three, and the guys never let him know <laughs> that one down. <laughs> uh, who no. is it? Um, Not Yannick, wasn't. No, no, no. Yannick, Yannick never won the Wimbledon. No, he won the French. He's, he's a little boy. Sorry. Is he? <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Who was okay. it? Um, Roscoe Tanner. What? Did Roscoe win Wimbledon? Yeah. Or he was in the final. He was I'm in the sure final. No, he no, never he won, won it. He, he won lost it? against the Borg. I no, remember watching a big booming service. I think Roscoe ever won Wimbledon. I think he did. He might have won the oh, US. We'll have, to, we'll have to check that we'll one check out. We'll check on that yeah. one. What did he end up in jail for? Uh, embezzlement. He's doing uh, for service. No, I think he's out. No, but <laughs> Roscoe was a hell of a nice guy. Embezzlement? And yeah, money money stories. Wow. That's the only one that I can think of that's gone off the wall. Oh, mm. other than Borg and... Yeah. Yeah, with his... The other one who uh, was very strange, uh, he's the one obviously who beat Kevin in the uh, in the final, Chris Boris. Lewis. No. Oh, oh, Chris Lewis. I mean, that was the start of yeah. Boris's era, but yeah. Chris Lewis, everyone thought, ah, gee, Kevin couldn't have a, 
an easier, easier way, way yeah. to win a Wimbledon title. Yeah. He blasted he blasted Connors and McEnroe yeah. in the se- quarters and semis. Yeah. Came up against Chris Lewis, this ignominious non-entity from New Zealand. And Chris Lewis beat him. Yeah. Where? What happened to him? We never heard of him again. He's in New Zealand as far as I know. Sheep farming. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Um, I'm not sure. Wow. Uh, he was at Wimbledon a couple of years ago. When they brought all the champions back, yeah, he and was everyone there was looking, yeah, because he was a guy. Yeah. Everyone was going, "Who's that? Yeah, who's that?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they brought one of the ball boys on. Isn't that nice from that era? Come yeah, on, he was quite cute. <laughs> well, he was a tiny little guy, yeah, wasn't he? He was wasn't big, and there's yeah. Karen with these massive serves, so. and he was just hitting everything back. Yeah, it was amazing. That was a bizarre year. He lost to Cash, didn't he? Who? Chris Lewis. Who did he lose to in the finals? Oh, it was the, no, hold on. Kevin made two finals, didn't he? No. One. One. And he lost to Lewis Boris. in the semi. He lost to Lewis in the okay. semi. I think he played cash in the other final. It must have been, it must have been cash yeah. then, yeah. I think All right. so. Aussie against New Zealander. Yeah. Wow. We'll go and check up on some of those again. I need yeah, to refresh no, please, my memory. I'm not very good at um, stats and that. No, we can see that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Neither are we. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, no, we're going to check. I don't, I don't know if Roscoe Tanner really won a, uh, a Wimbledon title. And... Um, I kind of thought that uh, Kevin played in two finals. No, one, I think. I think right. I'm almost certain not. All right, well, we've got it right here, so but we'll check it out. But he did well in the doubles, huh? With Steve Denton. Yeah. And Steve is now... Steve Denton, of course, the guy Johan Crick beat in uh, the two Aussie finals. Yeah, yeah. Both and Steve is now um, one of the coaches at one of the major colleges in the States. All right, here it is. Uh, late 70s, or the 70s. Go. Got him there. 79. John Newcomb, Stan Smith. Um, 79. Okay, 79. Roscoe. Roscoe. Did he win at 79? No, no, no run up. To Borg. You're right. Sorry. Yeah, 79, runner up to Bjorn Borg. Yeah. And Chris Lewis lost to John McEnroe. Oh, Mackie. 6 2, yeah. 6 2, 6 2. Blasted off the court. Okay, so he wasn't a Wimbledon uh, winner then. No, sorry. Uh, having beaten Kevin. Got in the stats wrong uh, again. In that case, then Kevin's uh, big run against McEnroe and Connors must have been the year uh, that he got to the final against Becker mm. and lost yep. in that final. Yep. Also, people didn't think because Becker hadn't really. Uh, he was 17. Yeah, he was still young, hadn't really shown, but he came out there as a sort of really rough edged German boom, boom, and boom. just blasted Curran off yeah. the course. Uh, he'd been here in South Africa playing at the Wanderers. Uh, in the juniors uh, a couple That's of right. a few yes. years before then yeah. and uh, people said wow and here Nadal he comes. played here you know that at Is Sun it? City during the Nike tournament ok yeah. as a youngster uh, yeah as a yeah. 12 or 13 year old yeah. so there we go don't just ignore your young tennis uh, junior tennis tournaments because the stars of the future might be there and you didn't even think about it where is Fru McMillan now? Fru uh, Fru is in Bristol Okay. Um, he's still doing radio, uh, television, and radio work for the Euro Eurosport. Eurosport. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And like I see a lot of Fru and Sally. Um, we've remained really good friends. And Whenever uh, they come out here, we get mm. together. The other one is uh, Cliff Drysdale. Is he still doing ESPN commentary? Yeah, Cliff is doing it, and big big name in commentary. Yeah. Yeah, and but interestingly enough, all the Cliff, Fred Stolle. Emma, a whole lot of those guys formed a company, um, Grand Slam, I think it's called in America, mm. and they go around and do a whole lot of corporate events and yes. the commentary and all that. So, okay. yeah, he was a guy that I thought should have done a lot better uh, singles-wise mm. than he did. Yeah, because I think he used to knock off uh, some of the big names, then lose to the sort of non-entities all the time. Yeah, look, Cliffy's a little bit older than me, but um, I met, really saw Cliffy playing during World Team Tennis in those days where the Rod Lavers and all that were still playing then and mm. um, yeah mm. good commentator very good commentator yes I enjoy him another name that just popped into my head is Colin Dowdswell Zimbabwean or Rhodesian in those Dope days D. where's he he's in London he's a banker in London wow there we and go and he's got kids and once again on Facebook and see him when I go over to London isn't Facebook just a marvellous thing it's hey, the best. Catch up with you can. Uh, don't have to travel to go and see all these people. You can catch up with them and chat to them. Yeah, and, it, and it's not one-on-one time. You can do it in your, you own. Know, in your own time. Yeah, mm. you can stalk them in your own time. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, ni- it's nice to reminisce about all these tennis players because mm. uh, some of those names just popped in now, and it was like, I wonder where that person is. And it's nice to see you again. Thanks for popping in Thank after you. your golf. We look forward to our uh, our challenge between um, Simon, me, you, and uh, one other. Okay, and that that's a confirmed for Friday. Oh, uh, I don't know if it's Friday. Okay. No. And you make Friday. Um, yeah, if Darren gives me off. 
<laughs> Friday, it'll have to be very early morning if it's Friday. Okay, no, Otherwise, okay. so we'll have to go. But the next time, yeah. Royal Johannesburg, okay. East, East course. course. You guys are off the protees. I'm off the ladies. Oh, give us a break. Okay. Why off the protees? You men, you're supposed to be much. No, 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 that's why we have handicaps. Have play golf? <laughs> yeah, I, would, I have to duck. I wouldn't even make well, it. We I all have to I duck. wouldn't make the men's tees. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> says, he who has, long. says who's beaten me once in our last six games. Oh, that's only because he chippers his handicap. Whatever. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Greer. Nice, nice to see you again. Thanks, Thanks for popping Aaron. in Thanks, this guys. afternoon. Thank you so much, Greer. Lovely to meet you. Nice okay. memories there. Greer right Stevens uh, joining us here on Balls Visual Radio. We look forward to seeing you out on the golf course for that big challenge. And uh, she clearly will not be playing with you. No, you could be my partner. After your chirp about the 1930s. <laughs> well, <laughs> not a hope in hell. Listen, are you a better golfer than him? Oh, way better. You know, I'm, a, I'm on a winning <laughs> team here. No. <laughs> All right, fine. Not I'll, hard, by the way. I'll, I'll bring my... <laughs> <laughs> He's going to bring a Aren't pro you? now. <laughs> I'll bring my partner and uh, we'll go and do that sometime in the next... We the best on three. One, two, three. We the best. 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Mondays to Fridays live on balls.co.za. Balls.co.za.